here this high mountain what the did you find a lost child I did <laughs> what did you got there a stick good he's like I still don't like you I'm just trying to headlamp in my face he hasn't forgiven me <laughs> like awkward <laughs> <laughs> it is day three for me day two for Taylor yo Taylor anyway Lake's down there. There's another lake over here that we're probably gonna go hit today after we get some very good breakfast. Cliff Bar. I eat these because they say that, you know, you can pretend they're not a candy bar. It's a granola bar, it's for backpacking. Anyway, wow. I woke up last night and I was like pretty certain that there was a bear coming through our tent. And it took me a total of like five minutes to fall back to sleep. But now that we're up, I'm gonna grub and get some fish. So we hiked over this other lake today. It was a really brutal hike, probably 500 yards from camp. Anyway, it's a nice little pretty lake. All these lakes, I guess, are glacier lakes, so they don't have an outlet or an inlet or anything. But we've been getting our butts kicked. We've been here for a couple hours and nobody's caught a fish yet. We've seen some really big fish rise, um, like in this end and stuff, but nobody's been able to figure out what they're biting on. So we've been all kind of throwing everything we got at them everything that was working at the other lake. Um, these guys have switched over now. They're trying their fly rods and seeing if they can pick something up. But so far, so slow. You know, I kind of had a hunch that it might be a little bit slow today, so I brought lots of snacks. And I'm gonna dive into those here in a second. So if you wanna know how to catch fish, you gotta know what the fish are eating. Gotta make sure that whatever it is you're fishing with tastes the same as whatever the fish like. You can do that like Not at all. <laughs> kind of like a like a raw crawdad. I'm sure most of you tried that. Um, almost tastes planty, like a grass or something. But taste what the fish are feeding on. Like if you can catch a little minnow and crunch it, then make sure and like give your spinner a good lick and see if it has the same flavor. It's absolutely critical. How gorgeous that is, guys. Doesn't get any prettier than that. So we just finished having lunch and we're headed over to this other lake. There's a few actually right here that we're gonna go try out this afternoon. Got my boy Juan right here. Got the float tubes. And then Louie back there, the trouble llama, trying to, trying to teach him a thing or two, but it's pretty, pretty country up here. like that. Why's your pole bending like that? On a spoon? Yep. Last time you said this was a good fish you weren't lying so. Unless I snagged him. <laughs> Bite it? Yeah. It's just like pulling. Which is usually a big fish. It's not at least like 16. 16 inches or pounds? Pounds. Oh, he's more than that. That's a good fish. It's just a big, pretty rookie. Yeah. why did he fight so hard? 
Good spoon, man. Everybody loves a good spoon. Everyone loves to spoon. Hey, that's pretty much the joke I just said. No, you said a good spoon. Oh. <laughs> I said two spoons. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's totally different. It's pretty fish. Bye, Felicia. Great work. Uh, I thought that was bigger. <laughs> that's what she said. A little update since the lighting's nice. Taylor decided to jump in the float tube and he's kind of been floating around as the wind allows. Jason got his waders on, they've been waiting. He caught a pretty nice one on his fly rod a minute ago. I think since we started fishing here, I've caught maybe four. Um, one of them was probably the best fish of the trip. I don't know if this GoPro got the footage very well or not, but we're kind of probably just gonna fish here till dark. This is the same lake that we started at. We made a big loop today. We went to three different lakes and they all kind of sucked. I mean. We, I didn't catch any at any of them, so that tells you how good my fishing skills are, but these other guys caught a couple here and there, nothing too crazy, so. We're back to the one we started at that we had the best luck at over the last couple days. We're gonna keep fishing this one. All right, so it is day whatever of this trip. We're loaded up and headed out. Um, woke up bright, crack of 10 today. And now we got all this gear pretty much loaded down, headed out. We live like, pretty much like kings up here. We brought more food than we could eat. We spent a couple days trying to eat it and we're even hauling some of it back out with us. So those things weigh like 35 pounds a piece. Those ones have all the float tubes. We're gonna throw them on. We're gonna go. Ted, Ted survived some minor trauma to the foot. He's still alive, still with us. Glad to see that. He looked like a gut shot two point for a little while there, but. Time to go home, short little hike out and a long drive. Pretty good few days. Lots of good food, that's what matters most. We're almost back to the truck. Man, these things make it awesome. Between these three llamas, we got 200 probably, between all our gear, it's probably 200 plus pounds. And this just makes it like nothing. You guys can rent these llamas, backcountry logistics. Um, I'm gonna put a link to their llama rental service in the description of this video. So you guys can go check out their website. Check out Team Backcountry on Instagram as well as Backcountry Logistics. These things are awesome. Book them out and book them early because they book up for the hunts pretty quick. So if you guys want to use these, go check out Jason and Dustin and all the stuff they're doing. Anyway, thanks for following this video. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys later.